a recent survey by personal finance website Moneybags has found that store card promoters are mostly clueless about the store card fees and charges they are promoting. In fact, 7 out of 10 retail store employees could not accurately tell consumers what these rates and fees were. Now, to further discuss this, I'm joined in Cape Town by editor of Just Money as well as Moneybags, Angelique Ruzika. Angelique, taking a look at the report that you've published and some of the findings uh, that, that you've managed to highlight, I understand that you've done this before last year in 2012. What were the key differences that came through this year? There weren't actually any key differences. The findings that we had in 2012 were exactly the same. We had seven out of 10 store card promoters that were not aware about the fees and uh, insurance costs and also the interest rate charges for these store cards that they were promoting. Uh, so it was very disappointing to find that um, the things hadn't actually changed. Angelique, just on that, clearly this highlights that uh, the promoters themselves aren't educated on the store card promotions that they, that they offer to the public. Uh, I take it that relies with the retailers. Yes, I think it's definitely a training issue um, and I think it's definitely an issue that needs to be addressed um, considering that it's the second time in a year now that we've, um, we've had similar findings or the same findings. Um, it's definitely an issue to address because consumers should be aware or should be told right from the start what the costs are that are associated with store cards. Angelique, you've also called for more transparency from retailers regarding interest rate charges as well as store card activation costs. Why is it not a, a, a legal case for them to, to disclose this kind of information beforehand? Is, is, is there something missing regarding legislature? Well, I spoke to the national credit regulator this afternoon about this very issue. And they did say that you are entitled to a quote and a pre-agreement notification. And I didn't go as far as to, when I did the research, I didn't go as far as to sign on the dotted line. Now, I do believe that when you do sign on the dotted line, they are supposed to make you aware of these uh, rates and charges. Um, however, if consumers come across, um, come across the uh, pre-agreement notice and they don't see the rates and charges in front of them or if they haven't been informed properly, I would advise that they then ask the uh, store um, card promoters or even call in beforehand before signing on the dotted line and um, find out exactly what it is they are up for when it comes to these charges. So give us some examples of the outrageous numbers that you come across regarding interest rates as well as the, the ancillary fees associated with the store account. Well, the National Credit Act uh, prescribes that um, when it comes to store cards and credit cards, um, you should only be charged up to 21%. Um, now, some of the store card promoters uh, thumb sucked rates and charges when I asked them about what they were. And some of them claimed that they were as high as 23, 24%. Some said were very close to what the actual rate was. Um, a, a lot of the um, store cards, they charge 21% on the nose. Um, but some of the store card promoters either didn't know that or they, they were maybe marginally off by, and then they would say 21.2%, etc. Then, of course, you've got the uh, card insurance protection costs that you have to pay as well, which can be anything from 30 Rand, um, round about there on a monthly um, basis. You've got the card maintenance fees. Um, some of them have that, that kind of charge every month. Uh, you also have initiation fees. And um, and these all are all the kinds of charges that you could be that you could expect on 12-month um, store cards um, and maybe uh, the six-month store cards as well. It's it's key to really find out what it is you're up for because you could be paying hundreds of rand a month. Mm. Thank you so much to Angelique Ruzika, the editor of Just Money as well as Money Bank.